hello friends uh, good morning to all of you so today uh, we are going to learn about a very interesting and uh, very expanding knowledge in the field of biological science at that point is expanding horizons in epigenetics my dear student if you are all aware that our biological system they have the different level of the storage of information starting from the dna rna that is the transcript and also nowadays that is in the form of beyond the dna sequence that is in the form of chromatin structure and that we also refer as chromatin modeling remodeling and all together uh, that is the branch of science or the biological science as epigenetics so today we are going to have very interesting and expanded knowledge in this particular field and this particular terminology may be useful to the undergraduate and post graduate and also the research student to have the understanding in these expanding knowledge in the field of epigenetics if you look at in epigenetics there are few buzzwords and keywords are noticed either in your research paper or in your textbook or any part of your knowledge and these are in the form of the most four important players and that we can say epigenetic players that shape up our epigenetic mark or signature in a particular cell system and these are writers the writers the readers and very recent that is another component is being proposed or already being discovered as molecular recorders even our lab we have proposed way back in 2017 the existence of molecular recorders that record all these events whether in the form of transcriptional events whether in the form of chromatin modeling and remodeling events if you look at my dear friend in a very precise term writers are a part of our cell system these are in the form of the enzymes that play an important role to write in the chemical languages chemical languages means what here if you look at the dna or histon protein they are going to be chemically written in the form of like methylation in the form of acetylation like on your histon protein and that is why in a very uh, if i can use your annotation so we can uh, write here so these will be in the form of dna methyl transcripts for example it can be also in the form of like no histone methyl histone acetyl transferase that means these enzymes are playing important role to allow our dna and the chromatin structure including histone protein to be written in the form of a, a mark or signature or a chemical languages that is methylation and acetylation another very important protein in reverse or you can say to reverse the language or the signature that is written by these enzymes uh, these are in the form of like no uh, dna d methylases 
histone D acetylase. So this will be in the form of erasers. Their responsibility is to maintain a particular state of epigenetic structure. Then nowadays, also there is a concept of you know readers. So once in a particular cell system, starting from the birth till the death of a particular uh, human system, all the cells they will have these system of writers, erasers. Also, they have the system of readers. So these are also a group of protein or enzymes that read these chemical languages written on these epigenetic or you can say chromatin component of your biological cell system. And recently, these are also discovered as like, you know, uh, bromo domain. These are also discovered as anchorin protein, Tudor, etc. Et then in line, nowadays, the concept of molecular recorders. These protein, they can have the capability to record these transcriptional and epigenetic events within a biological cell system. And there are ideas are uh, getting surfaced that that a particular cell system in a human body system, you, have to, you can say trillions of the cells are there. All the trillions of the cells are connecting with the environment, stress, emotion, psychological stress also. So the idea is that there is a existence and there should be some mechanism in the form of the protein those are going to record these stress, these emotional behavior, these environmental factors, etc. And that these are stored within our epigenetic, that is your chromatin structure in each and every kind of the cell. That is the whole idea. Now, my dear uh, student, we are going to uh, go to the next stage of our talk. Uh, that is, in the epigenetic field, there are a few more additional uh, content or the knowledge is uh, being uh, accumulated. One is also that is noi or that is epigenetic noise, if you look at the cursor here. So these epigenetic noises are also one of the buzzword nowadays that allow to study in terms of like, you no. Know, the aging of human in terms of various uh, disease conditions like cancer even nowadays the idea is that epigenetic noise may be responsible or may be contributing to like you no know, aging process or the cancer so it gives us a better opportunity even in terms of translational uh, values that how we are or we can reduce or we can revert back the epigenetic noises to the normal condition that can be one of the application of these aspects. Another is that, you know, uh, epigenetic clock. So nowadays also, so this epigenetic clock is also very important in terms of evolution, in terms of psychological behavior, in terms of how our uh, a particular human cell is going to respond to a particular environmental factor. So the epigenetic clock is also nowadays is being investigated and being understood by various uh, scientific groups. Another very important aspect, you know, metabolic access. Now the scientists are also being, or being convinced that, you know, there is a link between the metabolic pathways and the epigenetics. That means like, you know, if you say the glucose or the, any dietary factors, so they are not just serving as a source of ATP production. They are also going to serve as a part of beginning, you know, chemical, structure uh, that is going to be used as a by you know various enzymes either in the form of writers erasers etc to change the epigenetic mark in our chromatin structure all together if you look at epigenetic noises or clock or writers readers etc what we have proposed also in 2017 that the existence of epigenetic hard drive uh, that was in the form of ESP and we propose that epigenetic hard drive 
is a part and parcel of each biological cell system from the birth till the death. All the events, including the you know the emotional, psychological, environmental, pathogenic, all the events are being recorded by each and every biological cell in a particular human body system that are being stored in a uh, epigenetic hard drive format. Then a question was there, you know, what will be in reality the existence of epigenetic hard drive? And in that direction, we uh, proposed a model of what will be really a epigenetic hard drive by making a comparison with the spring model and the chromatin model. If you look at my dear friend, uh, chromat uh, spring, a coiled structure. So if how many times a particular spring is going to be twisted and untwisted, normally we can record, we can count how many twisted, how many times twisted and untwisted. So similarly, in our biological cell system, if you look at the chromatin structure, how many times chromatin are going to be written, how many times chromatins are going to be erased in terms of chemical languages, in case of you know uh, spring, if you look at in the spring, there is a mechanical language where the the spring is going to be twisted and untwisted. If you look at the cursor here, but in case of chromatin, what we are referring here, these are uh, these are in the form of chemical languages. Whether it is possible that all the you know this modification in our chromatin is going to be recorded, and if it is yes. And how it is going to be stored within a particular biological cell system. What we propose and we believe that there should be a reality on the existence of molecular recorder. If you look at the literature nowadays, uh, there are reports on various nucleases, various enzymes that are going to facilitate to record the transcriptional event in a biological cell system. Even in a very recent, uh, in a bacterial system, there is a report on uh, creation of a particular recording or you can say molecular recorders that can record all the responses by bacterial cell towards the environmental factors. So likewise, in a human body system, trillions of the cells are there. All the trillions of the cells individually, they may have their own a system of molecular recorders and in turn they are going to be stored in a particular epigenetic hard drive. However, currently the investigations are going on as such there is nothing such you know the experimental evidences but yes in partially or in part the evidences are coming up where the existence of molecular recorders and genetic hard drive epigenetic hard drives are being conceptualized. Thank you very much for listening to this uh, idea on the expanding horizons in uh, epigenetic hard drive. I expect that uh, you all will uh, keep visiting uh, this particular lecture for your better advancement in your knowledge